Nonlinear control theory is the area of control theory which deals with systems that are nonlinear, time variant, or both. Control theory is an interdisciplinary branch of engineering and mathematics that is concerned with the behavior of dynamical systems with inputs, and how to modify the output by changes in the input using feedback. The system to be controlled is called the plant. In order to make the output of a system follow a desired reference signal a controller is designed which compares the output of the plant to the desired output and provides feedback to the plant to modify the output to bring it closer to the desired output. Control theory is divided into two branches. Linear control theory applies to systems made of linear devices, which means they obey the superposition principle, the output of the devices, proportional to its input. Systems with this property are governed by linear differential equations. A major subclass is systems which in addition have parameters which do not change with time, called linear time invariant systems. These systems are amenable to powerful frequency domain mathematical techniques of great generality, such as the Laplace transform, Fourier transform, and Z transform, root locus, Bode plot, and Nyquist stability criterion. These lead to a description of the system using terms like bandwidth, frequency response, eigenvalues, gain, resonant frequencies, poles, and zeros, which give solutions for system response and design techniques to most problems of interest. Nonlinear control theory covers a wider class of systems that do not obey the superposition principle. It applies to more real world systems, because all real control systems are nonlinear. These systems are often governed by nonlinear differential equations. The mathematical techniques which have been developed to handle them are more rigorous and much less general, often applying only to narrow categories of systems. These include limit cycle theory, Poincaré maps, Lyapunov stability theory, and describing functions, if only solutions near a stable point are of interest. Nonlinear systems can often be linearized by approximating and by a linear system obtained by expanding the nonlinear solution in a series, and then linear techniques can be used. Nonlinear systems are often analyzed using numerical methods on computers, for example by simulating their operation using a simulation language. Even if the plant is linear, a nonlinear controller can often have attractive features such as simpler implementation, faster speed, more accuracy, or reduced control energy, which justify the more difficult design procedure. An example of a nonlinear control system is a thermostat controlled heating system. A building heating system such as a furnace has a nonlinear response to changes in temperature, it is either on or off. It does not have the fine control in response to temperature differences that a proportional device would have. Therefore the furnace is off until the temperature falls below the turn on set point of the thermostat when it turns on. Due to the heat added by the furnace, the temperature increases until it reaches the turn off set point of the thermostat, which turns the furnace off and the cycle repeats. This cycling of the temperature about the desired temperature is called a limit cycle and is characteristic of nonlinear control systems. Properties of nonlinear systems Some properties of nonlinear dynamic systems or they do not follow the principle of superposition. They may have multiple isolated equilibrium points. They may exhibit properties such as limit cycle, bifurcation, chaos finite escape time. Solutions of nonlinear systems may not exist for all times. Analysis and control of nonlinear systems. There are several well-developed techniques for analyzing nonlinear feedback systems. Describing function method. Phase plane method. Lyapunov stability analysis. Singular perturbation method. Popoff criterion. Center manifold theorem. Small gain theorem, passivity analysis, control design techniques for nonlinear systems also exist. 
These can be subdivided into techniques which attempt to treat the system as a linear system in a limited range of operation and use linear design techniques for each region. Gain scheduling those that attempt to introduce auxiliary nonlinear feedback in such a way that the system can be treated as linear for purposes of control design, feedback linearization, and Lyapunov based methods. Lyapunov redesign, nonlinear damping, backstepping, sliding mode control, nonlinear feedback analysis, the Lure problem. An early nonlinear feedback system analysis problem was formulated by A. I. Lure. Control systems described by the Lure problem have a forward path that is linear and time invariant, and a feedback path that contains a memory less, possibly time varying, static nonlinearity. The linear part can be characterized by four matrices, while the nonlinear part is phi width. Absolute stability problem consider is controllable and is observable. Two real numbers A, B with a less than B, defining a sector for function phi. The problem is to derive conditions involving only the transfer matrix H and A, B, such that X equals zero is a globally uniformly asymptotically stable equilibrium of the system. This is known as the Lure problem. There are two well-known wrong conjectures on absolute stability. The Eisenman's conjecture, the Kalman's conjecture. There are counterexamples to Eisenman's and Kalman's conjectures such that nonlinearity belongs to the sector of linear stability and unique stable equilibrium coexists with a stable periodic solution, hidden oscillation. There are two main theorems concerning the problem. The circle criterion, the Popoff criterion, which gives sufficient conditions of absolute stability. Popoff criterion, the subclass of Lure systems studied by Popoff, is described by where X are n, Sh, U, Y are scalars, and A, B, C, D have commensurate dimensions. The nonlinear element phi, RR, is a time invariant nonlinearity belonging to open sector. This means that phi equals zero, y phi greater than zero, y zero. The transfer function from u to y is given by theorem. Consider the system, and suppose A is Hurwitz, is controllable, is observable, d greater than zero and phi. Then the system is globally asymptotically stable if there exists a number r greater than zero such that i n f omega r e h greater than zero. Things to be noted. The Popoff criterion is applicable only to autonomous systems. The system studied by Popoff has a pole at the origin and there is no direct pass through from input to output. The nonlinearity phi must satisfy an open sector condition. Theoretical results in nonlinear control. Frobenius theorem The Frobenius theorem is a deep result in differential geometry. When applied to nonlinear control, it says the following. Given a system of the form where a vector fields belonging to a distribution and a control functions, the integral curves of a restricted to a manifold of dimension if span and is an involutive distribution.